Video tutorial number six, introducing color and the palette. The palette is the place where you hold and mix your paints. I like to use a plastic, airtight, sealable palette box in which I put a pad of disposable palette paper. It really doesn't matter what kind of palette you choose to use. You can use a wooden one or a glass one just as long is at the end of your painting day, you seal up your paints with something like Saran Wrap and so that it's airtight because oil paints actually do last and they're expensive. Now I'm gonna show you how I lay out my palettes. I happen to use two palettes because I have so many colors, but uh, if you're starting out painting, you probably will have just enough colors to put into one palette. So when you are putting your paints out in your palette, you want to put them into color families. The largest amount of paint you put out is white. Next to my white, I put my more obscure colors, like the colors that I'm going to use for skin tones and special yellows. I go down in gradation of color. So we have yellows that lead to orange, that leads to reds, that leads to browns. In my next palette, I have greens that lead to blues, that lead to purples, that lead to my dark colors that I use, and finally, my brightest purples and blue. Now I'm gonna show you about certain colors as well as the properties of different colors, and I'm gonna show you literally how to mix the paint on your palette. First, it's important to note that I'm wearing gloves. You can wear any kind of gloves that you want. They can be latex or not. I get medical supply gloves from the drugstore, just as long as your hands are covered because certain oil paints actually are toxic. When we are gonna mix our paints, we're gonna use initially a terp substitute, and I always keep it sealed with uh, just a little bit of tin foil, and I use a knife for mixing. When you mix your paints, you are always going to keep the integrity of the paint that you've put down on your palette in its place and you're going to do all your mixing in the center. So you're going to pull a little bit of paint in different colors into the center and you can thin it to make it more spreadable with the turf. So let's say... Different colors have different properties. Some colors are opaque, some colors are semi-transparent, and some other colors are completely transparent. It affects how the paint looks on the canvas, how you can layer with different colors, and I'm gonna show you a few colors so that you can see the difference. Here we have cadmium yellow, which is an opaque color. You can see how it makes a nice thick mark and you can't really see through it once you put it down. Now you have sap green. This is a, a semi-transparent color. It's a little bit uh, thinner. It has a little bit of transparency to it, but it is not nearly as transparent as, let's say, Indian yellow, which is a totally transparent color. And you can see as I put it down how it kind of stains where it is and that's the best way that I can describe it. The white I use is zinc white, which actually is a totally transparent white. So it's not really great for lightening up colors, it's more about getting light in a color. And um, if you are a beginning painter, I would suggest using titanium white, which is a thicker, opaque white, so that you can really lighten the color that you are trying to lighten. 